Hey guys, Help HQ here. Today we're going to cover how to install Manjaro Linux on a Raspberry Pi 400. You can do this process entirely on the Pi 400 or you could use another computer if you have one available. Some of the items you're going to need is going to be a micro SD card with an SD card adapter, which we have right over here. Uh, you're going to need an SD card reader, which I have right here, USB. And you're going to need a copy of the Manjaro Linux image. And you're going to need some software to flash the image to the SD card like Pi Imager or Bellina Etcher, which we will uh, get to here in a second. One thing to note is if you are using a separate computer to install Manjaro on the SD card, you can use the SD card that came with the Pi 400, which should look something like it would be inside this one. Uh, just so you know though, everything is going to be erased during this process, so you're going to want to back up any files necessary. Otherwise, if you want to do everything on the Pi 400 like what we're doing here, I would recommend getting a separate SD card, and you're going to need the reader so that you can have the operating system running at the same time while we're flashing the new card. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be downloading and flashing the image all on the Pi 400. The process is going to be exactly the same if you choose to do this part on another computer. Okay, now that we're switched over, first things first, uh, we need to get a copy of the Manjaro Linux image for the Raspberry Pi 400. To do that, we need to head over to the Manjaro website. And you guys can just use the link in the description below. So we're going to go to Manjaro. Org. And we're going to click Try Manjaro. At the top, you're going to want to go Additions, ARM, and then pick Raspberry Pi 4. Here, you're going to be able to see there are several different desktop environments to choose from. You'll find a preview of what the desktop environment looks like to the right of the link. One thing you need to make sure, no matter which one you pick, is that your link says get Raspberry Pi 4 in front of the environment name. So in this case, the environment name would be KDE Plasma 20.12.1. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to pick the uh, get Raspberry Pi 4 XFCE 20.12.1. So we're going to click this one. It's 64-bit, which is fine. We're going to click download. And then it should automatically start downloading, which you'll see here. While that's going on, we need to head over to the Raspberry Pi Foundation's website at raspberry.org, raspberrypi.org, excuse me. We're going to go software. And we want to scroll down to the Pi Imager, which is right here. In our case, uh, we're going to use this terminal command here, sudo app install RPI Imager. But for anybody else, if you're using this on a different computer, whether it's Mac OS, Windows, or uh, a different desktop that's running a Debian version of Linux like Ubuntu, you, you can just use these links to install the software. Alternatively, if you don't want to use this, you could download uh, Bolina Etcher, which is another software that can flash the image to the SD card. So we'll go ahead and open up Terminal, and we'll type in sudo app install rpi imager, and we'll press Enter. That all looks good, so we'll type Y and hit enter. Okay, and that's done, so we're just going to close this out. 
for the purposes of uh, the video, I've already downloaded this, so I'm going to close this out. And we can minimize this. So now you're going to want to take that USB SD card reader and you're going to want to take your new micro SD card and you will put that in your reader and then we will plug it into the Raspberry Pi And there's Imager. So in our case, for Manjaro, we are going to, for the operating system, we're going to scroll all the way down to Use Custom, where you're going to navigate to your Downloads folder. So in my case, it's Home, Pi, Downloads, if you're using Raspbian, which came with the Pi 400. You're going to select your image, click Open. Under SD card, you're going to want to make sure that this is the the SD card that is in the USB uh, reader. So in my case it is. You can see the USB logo here, and I am using a 64 gig card. A uh, 16 gig card is what came with the Pi 400. One thing to note is if you have anything on the card, it's going to erase everything, all existing data will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? So you'll need to back up anything if it's uh, something you want to keep. So I'm good with that. We're going to click yes. We're going to type in our password that we set up when we uh, first set up to Pi 400. And for the purposes of the video, uh, we'll be back as soon as this is done. All right, guys, and we're back. It looks like our file's been written to the SD card, so we can go ahead and click Continue. We can close out of the Pi Imager, and we can go ahead and shut down our Pi 400. If you guys like this video, uh, please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos in the future. And we should be shutting down. There we go. And so once we get all the way shut down, we can go ahead and remove the USB uh, SD card reader. And we can take the card we flashed our image out. And we can swap it out with the SD card that came with the Pi 400 that has Raspbian on it. And once we do that, we can go ahead and power on the Pi 400. And it should start the setup process. And once we get through all of this, we should see a setup window here to, that's going to take us through the configuration process for Manjaro. All right, and here we go. So for your keyboard layout, so for me, I am in the United States, so I want to scroll all the way down, and I'm going to pick U.S. And you would want to pick whatever is applicable to uh, your location.
right there. I'm going to hit enter. Enter desired username. Again, you guys can put whatever you want here. For this, you can just leave it blank and press return. And then for full name, we can just put and then a password. Confirm your password. Root password, you can put anything you want here. Um, you can even make it the same as the password that you just picked that you would use to log in should you choose not to use auto login. Time zone. So I am in America. Uh, let's just go with Denver. Locale. So this one can be tricky for some people. So the first part like where it says AA that's going to be your your language and then the second part is actually going to be the country that you're in so in my case I'm going to pick EN for English and then I'm going to pick US or it might say USA for the United States so right there host name is going to be the name that you want to name this so I'm going to put pi 400, but you can put whatever you want. It's just what's going to show up on the network. Verify all your settings are correct. And we should be good. It should uh, load all these configurations, and then we should see a desktop environment here in just a second. It looks like it needed to reboot to save our configuration. What I really like about the F or the XFCE environment is that it's really lightweight and so it runs really good on the Pi 400 without overclocking. You you can overclock if you wish. But if you choose to use something like KDE Plasma um, or to install, install a different distribution such as let's say Ubuntu uh, it's, a, it's a lot uh, heavier load on system resources for the Pi 400 and I, I've found that I think Manjaro is the best fit if you want to go with something that's not uh, from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. So we're at the login screen we're gonna go ahead and type our password in And there we go. So there you have it. It looks like we have Manjaro loaded up. Um, feel free to go in and set up your Wi-Fi and your connections. There's probably going to be updates you need to do. Just keep in mind that this is an ARM-based distribution, so you're not going to get every app that you would normally be able to get on the uh, x86 version of Manjaro. But it should serve everyone very well. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get more content. Thank you.